Hi, we're The Hills, and we're spending the next three weeks road tripping from Southern Ontario to British Columbia. We'll be making stops along the way to explore all that our great country has to offer, from hiking the Alberta Badlands to surfing in the Pacific Ocean and everything in between. Let's go! Over the next two days, we'll be exploring the Canadian Badlands at Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta. Look at that. We arrived a couple hours before the check-in time for our campsite, so we decided to check out the Visitor Center Museum and nearby trail. We are parked and just doing the walk up to the Visitor Center. This is crazy. Those are crazy. I had no idea we had this in Canada. We're at the Discovery Center and they have this museum that you can walk through. This place is really neat. It says trails in this area are no longer maintained. And we'll see how it goes. We found some prickly pear. How cool is that? Oh, there's more, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of it. I like that single flower over there too. Look at that, prickly pear in Canada. So weird. This is so cool. Landscapes are awesome here. Look at this. This is so weird. Any fossils? You guys see any fossils? No. This place is so cool. So cool. Such a unique landscape. This looks like a little bit more better shoes required. <laughs> Oops. The Cooley Lookout Trail is no longer maintained. Um, you can scramble around a bit and find your way. The beginning and the end are fairly well marked. The middle gets a little iffy, but we found our way. A uh, couple of little sketchy parts where it's a little slippery, but other than that, it was great. Highly recommended. So cool. We're here just checking in. We're at the cafe, a little store here too. Oh my gosh, that is our 
this is our campsite. We've got this cool shelter. Lincoln, off the table, honey. Please. Right here. We are just sitting down for supper here in Dinosaur Provincial Park. We, uh, we didn't get the tent up on the van because it is just so windy. We didn't think it would stay up. But uh, it's getting a little chilly, so we're gonna eat quick. And then probably just get the van, maybe play some games or something. Good morning. We just spent the night here in Dinosaur Provincial Park. We woke up to this. Oh, it is a gorgeous day out. Trying to coax the other ones out of bed. The other ones are coffee. Baking coffee. It's gonna be a good day. Wind's picking up again. We are going on a bus tour today around the park, so we're excited to be doing that. And we're gonna see if there's a couple hikes we can do too. Good morning. This is our gorgeous campsite at Dinosaur Provincial Park. We slept here last night. Graham is just making coffee. And here is our van. This is in sleep setup. I'll show you around inside. Okay, so Graham and I sleep down here. We have a mattress on this platform that Graham has built. Uh, the kids sleep up there. That platform comes down when we drive. We have a lantern and some fans, extra blankets. It has been surprisingly comfortable and awesome. Okay, so here the kids are up in the bed. What do you think, guys? It's good. You have enough room? Yeah. Yeah, nice and cozy. Okay, this is the view from the side. So we have this platform for the kids. It is on IKEA table legs that screw in. This is the footboard of mine and Graham's bed. It kind of pushes back in, um, and then the kids' seats can go down. We also, all of us, have a clothes bin under here. So we each have one of those and we store, this is our pajama bag and our extra warm clothes bag. Um, so that is kind of how the side works. This is the view in the front seat. We have our backpacks, Graham has his camera gear out. He got up in the middle of the night for some astrophotography. And then we have all of these sunshades in to block out the light. They are perfect. They are from WeatherTech and they make it absolutely pitch black in there, which is fantastic for making stops. Okay, this is our kitchen setup. The headboard of our bed double hinges up and we've actually made it into this shelf here, which is fantastic. We have our food bin here, our gear bin is under. Um, this is our fridge, our Ice Co. fridge. It is fantastic. It is run off our power bank back there. We have an EcoFlow power bank and that is our water jug. Graham has rigged this up so we can actually fill it up from outside the van and we have this amazing little tap. Can you turn it on? So we can actually just use our water from outside the van here. So right from our campsite, the kids are just playing around on the hoodoos. And they say, stay on the trails, but at the campsite, they say you're allowed to just run wherever you want. So not exactly sure, but there's lots of little paths up there that they've that we're following around. We are heading out on the scenic loop drive. It's a three kilometer loop from the campground through the Badlands. Uh, there are different hikes and stops along the way. We're going to drive the whole thing and then we're gonna go back again and check out some of the stops. the Badlands Trail. This is the first stop along the scenic route. It is a 1.3 kilometer trail. Uh, they say it's 45 minutes. Um, let's see about this. This place is so cool. Every turn 
it just gets so cool. Oh my goodness. And it just keeps going, right? Like, look how far away those are. We're almost at the top. It's probably the best view from up here. No. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, it's nice out of the wind. The sun came out. It's nice and warm right here. This place is neat. Like we just get to be in like different parts of the Badlands. So we're in like grassy areas and now we're in this. Exactly sure what's at this one. No, you may not. You gotta stay on the boardwalk. So we're going to check out what this is. What's up there? A hole? Oh, we can go across the top here. Oops, sorry, buddy. Super cool. That's so cool. That's it. Neat little trail. We are here at the number one fossil house. They found fossils, and instead of digging them out and putting them in a museum, they built a little house around it. Oh, wow. That is incredible. This is called the headless hadrosaurus, also known as a duck-billed dinosaur, were large plant eaters weighing as much as four metric tons. Yeah, you can see how big they are compared to a person. They account for approximately one half of all known dinosaur fossils. Do you see the one in the water? Yeah, that's just a picture though. I was talking about the real one. Yeah. That's real dinosaur bones. That was really cool. What a great idea to have it left in place. Hey, pup. What you doing? Hey, pup. What you doing? We have stopped at the dinosaur hut two or fossil hut number two. And while we're here, we're getting a little hungry, so we decided to make some supper. So we decided to make some lunch. There's boiling there, and we're just gonna go check it out. Oh, that's cool. Set up like a display. <laughs> gone for lunch. So that is what they would use to clean and expose the fossils. Wow. Those, those trees. I didn't see those. We are going to take off on a tour of the nature preserve. They have a special, special area that's locked off just for uh, tours and actual paleontology that's going on now. So let's go check that out. I can absolutely guarantee that we will all see a fossil today, which is great news. And if you don't, you can get a refund. So this is from an animal, kind of like an ammonite of what we call a baculite. In indigenous beliefs, it is believed that if you find one, it is because it called out to you. So if you find one, you would tell an elder and they would be the one to collect it and then Stop number two. Gorgeous viewpoint. So I promised all you folks you'd see some fossils today, so no one gets a refund. So there are fossils all there over the place here. So unfortunately, a lot of the you can see the, the holes in it, the marrow, the grain to the outside of the bone. Oh, it's so crazy. Look at that one. Hold it up for me to see, Claire. That's so cool. It's a vertebrae. The backbone, yeah. There's another one right here. 
Right there, that's one. Yeah, that's just like the inside of the bone. Think that's one? I think so. Oh, maybe. I'm just playing with like real fossils. Wow. Give you a bit of a layout of this dinosaur. This is the head right here. It's got the neck, the back, the back legs, and the front arms. So all of this is real, none of it is cast. Um, this is all exactly as it was found. Do you think this dinosaur is missing anything? A tail? A tail, exactly! So this dinosaur is missing its entire tail. Any guesses what happened to it? It disintegrated. Disintegrated, that's a good guess. You have another guess? So the fossil we were just looking at was actually taken out from right there. So they pulled it out, put it here, and built this house around it so they could preserve it. It's very, very cool. got back from our trip our tour it was super cool very interesting a lot of neat facts we got to see some pretty cool fossils still in the ground it was a lot of fun we are just making supper here at dinosaur it is our last day here got a little windy but not too windy so we set up our tent so we could eat in there and just have a bit of a shelter in there it hooks right up to our van so we can access our fridge and our food bin and everything Pretty stinking awesome. And tonight we are going easy. We've got some backpackers pantry, pad thai, and some alpine air for every young mac and cheese for the kids. It's gonna be good. All right, we are all ready for bed here, our second night in Dinosaur Provincial Park. All cozy in our beds, and tomorrow we are headed to Drumheller. Good night. Hit subscribe and join us next time for part three of our Western Canada road trip.